what's up guys this is steve here with momentum marketing tips it's gonna be a real quick video uh i just wanted to actually shoot a video on something common that some of you may be uh experiencing or you may have to do in the future or you may uh have had to do previously and had some trouble with it so um basically all i'm doing is transferring a domain away from a particular platform to another so I'm transferring a domain name away from Wix, which is kind of a build it or do it yourself style uh, website platform. And I'm going to trans transfer that domain over to um, an actual hosting server. In this case, it'll be HostGator, but you know, it could be GoDaddy, it could be WP Engine, it could be SiteHost, Bluehost, it could be a, any of the other hosting providers or platforms. So, what you want to do is you would log into Wix or if you were in a different website builder, um, you want to log into that. You want to navigate to domains. OK, now in, for the purposes of I'm in Wix now, I will show you how to do that on the Wix platform, but it's going to be very similar on any platform. Once you get to do, the domain section, you're going to navigate. It's usually going to put you on the general tab first. OK. So you're going to have to find an advanced tab. There's going to usually be two options. There's usually going to be one to say, oh, I want to take a domain from another site and then transfer it to Wix or whatever platform you're using. Or it's going to be, I want to take the domain that's here and remove it and transfer it over to the other. So what you're going to do is, in this case, we're taking it away from Wix and put it on a, on a new site. Okay. So we're going to click here. It's going to tell you, hey, removing the domain will delete it from your Wix domains list. You will still be able to access it from your domain provider. Are you sure you want to remove this domain from Wix? You can yes, remove it. Okay. Now it's going to tell you you're going to have to connect the domain that you already own. Okay. So now that's if you wanted to take this particular site that you still had on Wix, okay? Now, what you wanna do, you're gonna go back over to, just a second here. Okay, so now we're gonna log back in here. But it says I forgot my password, so let's try this again slowly. Huh. Well, let's try this. No. Well, it says here I forgot my password, so let's go ahead and see if I can reset it. Shouldn't take long. All right, let's say request sent. Okay, so we'll jump back over here and let's see if we can. All right, so we got the lost password request in here. Go here, this will update it. So let's jump back here. Let's try to give it the actual password I intended to give it the first time. So I'm just doing this real time here. So obviously you would not have to do this. Uh, <laughs> Let's reset it. Okay, it was good to go. Let's jump back down here. Now, this is the new um, hosting provider that we're in now. So, what we want to do here is, okay. 
can see I'd already selected the primary domain. If I click on here, it tells you the username. Okay. Now we have that domain name active in our new HostGator account. Okay, and we've driven it away from um, Wix. So in other words, if you do it now, we have not uploaded the new site yet, but if you do it now, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so it's gonna say it can't reach this page, obviously because we've removed it from the Wix platform, okay? So we're really easy to redirect to disconnect from um, Wix or any of your other go-to-yourself style, uh, simple websites. And uh, you, when you sign up for a new hosting account, they're gonna ask you, do you have an, uh, a, a current active domain? And if you do, they're gonna let you type that in and you add that into here, okay? So once I actually go in here and drop files into the this actual account, when I type in City Uplift, when I type in any the domain I'm using, it's actually going to pull up that website uh, and it'll pull up the new website. Okay, so I hope that I hope that um, helps you guys. I will leave a link um, in the in the description here, kind of give you some other tools. There's some um, actually different. You know, if you are doing a do-it-yourself style website, there's a diff some different platforms that you can use that are very very easy to use. But not only do they allow you to use your websites, they, they'll give you unlimited landing pages. They'll also give you unlimited um, Facebook Messenger. Uh, you'll get access to a sales funnel that you can implement to use with Facebook ads. Um, and they're all less than $50 a month. There's a few plans. There's a $9.99 plan, I think. I think $19.99, a $29.99 plan. And I think it's a $50 plan. So. If you want to go that route, I'll leave a description and the link for that. Um, if not, if you want to have this site uh, set up, customized, and um, optimized for your own particular needs, and you know you're going to have to a little bit uh, not have time to manage that, uh, I'll leave a link below into our website where we actually handle that for you, or we've done for quite a few companies. But I just wanted to give you this. So if you are using this, Guys, you can go in the back side. You can transfer that domain away from your old build-it-yourself website or platform, and you can transfer it right over into your new um, hosting account. So I hope that helped you all. This is Steve here with Momentum Marketing Tips. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next side.